time it's your girl designer soapbox and i am back with another video so in today's video i want to get deep and down with you guys i want to i want to be very transparent with you about credit um, and also about the stigma and hierarchy that people put credit at um i want us to start this video saying is no matter what score your it your credit score is, you should never uh, change change your way of thinking or a type of respect towards another person. Just because someone's credit score is low does not mean that they're above you or below you. I just want to put that out there because in a lot of ways, some people treat credit scores as a certain class or a certain level of um, uh, like a level of just place where they're at in life or, or a, le a level of classism or uh, like it's a political statement, right? So um, I just wanted to put it out there because I don't see too many videos about this, but it's definitely something that does go on when those that have low credit scores and those have high credit scores. So say for instance, for example, if you're a person that is learning about credit and you just you know you're just going down this credit rabbit hole and you're just learning so much stuff so much information about credit you know and then um say for instance you have a couple of friends that doesn't necessarily have a good credit score that, that doesn't necessarily know about credit um it doesn't give the person that's getting you know the information and stuff like that it doesn't give them the right to just talk bad bad mouth their friends because it they don't have good credit scores or you know and stuff like that you know you want to help your friends you know if you do go down the route of you being able to fix your credit or learn more about credit and you get your credit score to a very good score you want to help your friends um, because honestly I'm gonna put it like this we don't care as you know consumers and people what your credit score is I don't care what your credit score is what can I do with what can I do with your credit score the only person that cares about your credit score is lenders or banks I don't personally care what your credit score is it's not gonna make me you know oh my god your credit score is an 850 I must you know respect you at a higher level I don't care I just want to encourage people to you know don't think of it as a hierarchy thing thinking that you're you know you're better than someone because credit scores can go down in you know two or three your credit score can be at 850 and the next thing you know it your credit score is at a 600 so what does that make you right i had something in my top of my head but i'll come back to it when i remember but i just want, wanted to just say that because it doesn't it doesn't matter like your credit score does not need to be a social um, hierarchy if, if lack of a better term you want to make sure that you respect those that have a low credit score or a high credit score I know that credit is really that's what I was gonna say um, credit is something that you, a lot of people don't realize but um, a lot of people prefer not to be not to have credit they prefer not to be in debt credit is you actually use you know for in most cases those that actually want to build credit like from for me for my example the reason why i'm building credit and the reason why i have credit is not to stack up on a bunch of credit cards and spend it all and splurge it all and max it all out you know and have debt no i want to leverage credit to get the things that i want to get the things to make more income to make generational wealth to make passive income and stuff like that so a lot of people may not want that in life so a lot of people may not have credit or a lot of people have the uh, uh, perception of not having credit because they know that it builds debt, which it does if you don't use your credit wisely. So um, this this goes to say that, you know, a lot of people may not want to be in the credit game or learn about credit or rather not rather have no credit than any credit because they will probably be in debt if they had access to this to these uh you know lines of credit and credit that we that we do have available for for people so the moral of or the message that i want to put out on this video is just because don't well don't make 
just because someone has a lower credit score or a higher credit score than you doesn't make you better than them it does not and i want to be as transparent with you guys as possible um i do you know you know say for instance if someone does comment down on you know one of my videos and say you know i have you know i started out with a with a 400 credit score in six months or so, i got to a 780 you know or something like that it is possible it is possible to get your credit score that quick i'm one of those that got my credit score to in the 700s in the high 700s within three months it is that possible those are those that are very fortunate can do that um there are many ways to this credit game that a lot of people don't know so does that make me better than someone that has a 400 credit score does that make me better than someone that has a 50 credit score no it does not it does not and i wanted to just make this video because even though i talk about credit and how to build credit i'm learning with you guys as well i'm no different from you based i'm no better than you we all are you know learning and enjoying the content that you know the people that put out on youtube is enjoying I hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope that you guys can take a lot of information that I put out there and share with your friends and family and, you know, give them, give them, you know, uh, the content as well and flourish with them and build with them and choose generational wealth overall. Um, because this is a lot of content that we don't get taught in schools, right? So... I'm hungry for knowledge, and as I'm hungry for knowledge, and I'm seeking out for knowledge, and I'm learning these new things, I love to give it to you guys. And I, you know, really appreciate you guys for tuning in and, you know, just enjoying the content I put out. I just, you know, want you guys to understand that it does not make you less of a person, does not make you uh, higher than a person if you don't have a good credit score or if you do have a good credit score and if you do have friends that have a terrible credit score help them out send them one of my videos or tell them what you did in the process and how you got started with your credit it does not hurt to help someone else um, because credit is definitely something that can be fixed very quickly and it can go bad very quickly so there's two ways to go about it you guys um, credits, credit is actually changing the FICO game and the credit game is changing almost every month now. Scores are, you know, getting different, uh, requirements are changing. So just, you know, just because someone has a high score does not mean anything. A lot of people who have high scores can also get denied. Yeah. And the person with the 580 score can get approved for what you got denied for. So it does not matter what your credit score is and it does not make you a, a better or less of a person because your credit score is lower than the person that you know that you may in, in come encounter with uh, I just wanted to put that out there and I know there's not a lot of people that talk about this but it is something that does go you know that does happen in credit groups or credit uh, you know stuff you know like if you go get apply or you apply for something and someone you know for instance let's say for example for instance i'm the type of person that i need to know what you're pulling what's the credit score minimum i need to know like where you're pulling from how long does it take is this a hard inquiry is a soft inquiry i'm not just going to give you my social security number i'm not right so if i'm going to like uh apply for like apartment or a home or a car or whatever I'm going to apply for that involves them pulling my credit I write it down and I may not even give them my information that day just because I'm like okay um and you know those the person that you're asking they may look at you kind of funny like why do you need to know all this you know like if your credit is good just give me your social security and it's not about that you know, there's a lot of myths and um, um, opinions about, you know, you know, if your credit is good, why should I give you this? No, it's not about that. It's not about that at all. I need to make sure that this is worth it, you know, that I need to make sure that this is worth it because once you pull my credit, you know, I, you know, I, I mean, 
you can get the ink remover in my 24 hour ink removal guide but still it's just like it's just it's not worth it sometimes right um but yeah i just wanted to go over that because you want to be cautious about your credit, but you also don't want to treat it as a hierarchy, thinking that you're better than someone. Um, I want to be, I want, want to come off very transparent in this video, so this is why I'm just like straightforward with you guys, like straightforward, down to nitty gritty. Um, I want everybody to have a happy credit journey, and if you fall off, it's okay. Get back up. There are so many ways and so many opportunities to get back up don't let you know a bad credit score you know run your life don't make a bad uh or even don't even let a high credit score you know just ruin your life too because those that have high credit scores and those that have access to more credit um some people are not careful and they use a debt they use all of their lines of credit or available credit and get into debt right so like i said credit is primarily used what you want to use credit for is to leverage the credit use other people money to make income to make passive income to make generational wealth to make um you know to do real estate deals to do stuff like that it's not really to just splurge off rack up debt and then just you know like that's not what it's here for so I wanted to um, make this video to give you guys, you know, the real spiel. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know, you know, do you guys, have you guys came across people that are like that? Like, that's like, oh, your credit score is a 400. Oh, my God, I cannot hang out with you. <laughs> you know, like stuff like that. Or, oh, my God, your credit score is an 850. Let me marry you. I need a man with a good credit score stuff like that like it does not matter what your credit score is we don't care as consumers lenders do right I and mean, if you do have a family member or a friend that has a low credit score help them out help them out it doesn't hurt because it can make you it can benefit you in the long run depending on you know what you plan on using your credit score for like if you plan on doing real estate deals or buying property buying investment properties um, stuff like that, like, you know, a group, a person with a good credit score is always better than the person in the group with, uh, no credit score. However, it does not matter. It does not matter. It does not make you better than anyone. Everybody is learning at the same time. Never stop learning whether you're 18, 16, 50, 70, 40, 20, 30, it does not matter. It does not matter what age you are it does not matter what sex you are if you're a female or a male it does not matter it does not make you better than anyone else right it doesn't matter what color you are what race you are it does not matter what credit score you have it does not make you better than the next person okay so that's just my spiel i hope you guys agree with me let me know if you agree with me let me know if you don't you're like you know what nope it doesn't matter what credit score you know I have I'm better than everyone else or let me know you know it's like you know what you're right it does not matter and I'm going through this journey and I'm here to you know and I hope this that, that this encourages you those that go through a journey because I'm the same way I'm still going through a journey I want a 850 credit score will I ever get it I'm not sure but does that make me better does that make me better than someone that has 850 credit score no right um, does it does it make me better than someone that has a 300 credit score no you know, we may have jokes and stuff like that or memes out there, but it is what it is, right? It's it's just part of the credit game. Um, but I wanted to just let you guys know, like, it does not matter. I, you know, I keep saying that, but it does not matter. It doesn't make you better than anyone else. So, yeah, I really appreciate it if you got to this end of the video. So, what I'm going to do also is I'm going to put um, some of my dispute letters that I use to fix my credit on my website for sale i'm it's going to be between a dollar to five dollars i'm not exactly sure what the price will be but um if i if it's not on if it's not on the website when i post this video it will be on the website within a couple of days 
because a lot of you guys have emailed me about pay to delete letters, dispute letters, and stuff like that. So I want to make them very cheap for you guys so that you guys can, you know, work on your credit. I don't want to, you know, just have, you know, because the credit game is very, uh, it can be a very lucrative business. But I want to give you guys some, some, some stuff that I found useful for me um, at a value, valuable price. I know you guys, a lot of you guys have mentioned that I should sell my ebooks at a really higher price. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, I, I'm so happy to help you guys. You know, I'm so happy to help you. I'm so happy to see what you guys are achieving. And you know, maybe one day you guys can do the same. Maybe one day you guys can use your, you know, your platform or if you have one to do the same. Um, it's not a competition. It's not a race. It's, you know, this is life and this is what we're dealt with. These are the cards that we dealt with every day. And, you know, and I hope the best, hope the best for all of you guys, actually, that came across this video. And if you are subscribed, I really appreciate you guys subscribing. This gives me a lot of motivation to come on, you know, YouTube and give you guys what I've learned. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, because I really, you know, love your feedback and I love when the numbers are jumping up. It gives me a lot of like motivation and makes me feel like I'm on top of the world um and also um yeah it just you know it just gives me more eagerness to find more stuff out for you guys because I know that a lot of this stuff is digged up under the internet rabbit holes and it's hard to come across and it's hard to find it so I want to put it out there and I want to be the source for you guys to work on stuff and not make it hard break it down make it simple because I'm a very I need to, I need my stuff to be broken down. You can tell me how to do it, but I need it to be broken down into steps. Tell me step by step. So this is why I do, you know, what I do on my channel because I'm that type of person. Okay, this is brand new to me. I I just can't get it like this, right? So it seems like to me you guys love how I break it down, and I'm going to continue on doing that for you guys. And to, you know, and I love when you guys email me and comment and let me know that you know it helped you guys. So keep it up, guys. I love you all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hi everyone. This is Anna Soapbox. I just wanted to make this video to guys let you know that I am having a 50% off sale for 72 hours. Yes, a 50% off sale on the 24 hour express inquiry removal guide and also the late payment removal guide. So just head down to the description or to the pinned comments and click the link and get your 50% off. Remember, this inquiry removal will help you remove hard inquiries from your credit report within 24 hours. And then the late payment guide will um, help you remove your late payments uh, very fast, super fast actually. Um, if you're tired of disputing your late payments waiting 30 to 45 days, this is a quicker method of getting these late payments removed. So if you guys enjoyed a lot of my content, I talk about this in my videos. However, I have this in an ebook. I'm doing 50% off for you guys. If you missed a 60% off sale, I'm doing one for 50% off. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And thanks for supporting. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Bye.